Hey fish friends, this is Zenzo from Tazawa Tanks. Today we're going to talk about the waterfall tank. Now this is a paludarium. A paludarium is a combination of both land and water, so it's not an aquarium, it's a paludarium, but we'll call it a tank uh, for this video. Uh, a lot of you are familiar with this tank. It is my Indian mudskipper tank. It's a 40 gallon tank. That is brackish water, which is a mixture of fresh water and salt water. In here, I have a combination of different fish. I've got uh, bumblebee gobies, which are the fish that you see swimming down below there in the water section. And I also have my Indian mudskippers. Indian mudskippers are a mudskipper that are part of the goby family. And they are in fact fish. I, may, I recently made a video about the mudskippers and a lot of people were commenting and asking me questions about them. And a lot of people thought that they were amphibians, but they are in fact fish. I also have uh, some snails in here. The snails are part of the cleanup crew. Now, one of the reasons why I'm making this video now, and I've shared this video or this uh, tank in the past, is I did some upgrades to this uh, tank. Um, fix the uh, waterfall a little bit. You can see the waterfall here um, coming down the coral. What I love about this is that it's uh, kind of come alive with some uh, algaes that are growing on there. You can see the snails kind of grazing on the uh, algaes there. Um, but I kind of redecorated this uh, tank a little bit to where I raised the land area um, by a few inches so that I could add a lot more water. So um, there's about 30% more water in here than there was before, which gives the bumblebee gobies more places to swim. They have more, uh, they have access to more swimming areas and it's just better overall for the tank as far as uh, having more water volume just to ensure that, uh, you know, if there's any kind of you know, issue with as far as a, uh, a spike in something that um, the larger volume of water is going to dissipate that. Um, here you can see kind of the scape and you can see the snails um, that are in there. And uh, the muskippers are doing great. They're really fun to uh, interact with. Um, in fact, uh, earlier this morning I was doing a live stream and uh, one of them was uh, nibbling on my finger when I put my hand inside of the tank. A very, very fun, friendly, interactive fish that I have. Now, a lot of people um, are interested in seeing them eat, so we'll go ahead and feed them here. This is the Extreme Curl Flake. I've made a video about this before. It's uh, one of my favorite fish foods of all times, um, and it's uh, readily eaten by lots of lots of fish in my fish room. Uh, but here you can see that there's kind of one one of the bumblebee, one of the uh, mudskippers right now is kind of uh, dominating the food and, and kind of keeping the others from getting it. And uh, you'll kind of see him squabble here in a moment uh, with some of the other mudskippers. Um, typically what I'll do is I will uh, sprinkle some of this on several rocks around the area. And then I'll also sprinkle some in the water for the bumblebee gobies to eat. So normally what I would do is I would sprinkle it on that other rock there in the, in the background and then some other rocks within the uh, within the paludarium so that they all can you know grab a bite and get a mouthful without having to uh, squabble and bicker too much but uh, right now uh, this little chub is just kind of dominating the food and getting uh, getting his fill um, but you know, this is a really enjoyable uh, really enjoyable tank uh, very easy to take care of once you kind of learn how to make brackish water um, I wish I could do more plants I am kind of experimenting with plants but I do have this uh, these uh, two mangroves in there so you can see the mangroves are doing very well in fact I had to trim this tall one because it was growing too tall because they are in fact a tree so I had to kind of cut it back down to keep it at a shorter level um, but uh, I like the new scape uh, for those of you that have been following my channel for a while I'd love to read down below in the comments what you think about uh, this new setup as you can see that the uh, water is a few inches higher than it was before and the muskippers don't seem to mind. They do spend more time on land than they do in water, but they do have to remain wet all of the time as that is one of the ways in which they can um, uh, get oxygen is they can actually absorb it through their skin uh, in addition to breathing through their gills. So they do have a couple of ways of getting oxygen, but they have to be wet all of the time. So it is important that uh, if you are keeping these that you keep them uh, in, a, in a tank where there's lots of water and it's not too dry. Um, so keeping a lid on that would definitely help. Uh, a lot of people have asked me how I've been filming fish recently. Uh, so I just thought I would take a little shot of my camera so you can see how I'm getting some of the macro shots. But anyway, that's all I had for now. I just wanted to share this uh, tank and the upgrades. Hopefully you enjoy it. Comment down below, like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.